Uh, could I just get your name? My name is Sasha. Sasha, how long have you been working? Uh, With the Toronto District School Board? Uh, 11 years. 11 years? Yes. And why are you here today? What, could you speak to a little? Well, I'm against the force um, mandates, the force uh, MRA, mRNA um, jabs. Um, I've been going into school. I've been wearing a mask, following all the protocols and uh, the physical distance, and uh, yet we're still being forced. On top of that, uh, the class sizes are large, so you have many students, up to 23 students in one class, so there's no real physical distance. Um, and there is a divide between people who have taken the mRNA and people who have not. And uh, so I felt, I felt very closed in the sense that I could not express myself, express how I, how I felt because there were so many people who have already taken the jab. So we decided, for me, I had to find somebody who's in support of my view to help with my mental health and my well-being because I don't think I should be forced to put something in my body when I'm a healthy person. Yes, I am. I'm a special education teacher and a MART at the school, so I uh, coordinate meetings for uh, students who need additional support. So, 11 years, uh, and I imagine you've had, you've had a clean record at the school, correct? Pretty much. I actually immigrated to Canada in uh, 2004. And as you know, as, immig as immigrants, uh, it, it's more of a challenge because you you have to start over everything. So uh, I did work um, as an occasional teacher for a number of years in TDSB and got hired as a permanent teacher four years ago. I have four children. Um, so I'm actually taking a, a huge risk and a huge stand because I really uh, think that in a country like Canada, with democracy and freedom and liberties, right? Um, that we should not be forced to put something in our bodies that we don't know too much about. I feel like, you know, you hear about communist China, you hear about North Korea. Um, I, I, sometimes it feels like that's where I am. Unbelievable. And you're, you're facing unpaid, unpaid leave, is that correct? Yep, yep. So it's um, dismissal without being paid. Yeah. And is that, did, have they provided a timeline or is it indefinite? So what they've done, they've sort of put us in groups. So there are people who have attested and done the rapid antigen test, testing and there are people who have not done none of those things. So the people who have not attested or done the rapid antigen test, they were dismissed on November the 4th, on November the 1st. Uh, people who have attested and have done the rapid antigen test, they have until November the 22nd to get the mRNA. And one of my concerns is that the media is not reporting um, uh, several sides to what is going on. And I feel it's, it's very dishonest and it's very shocking. So many people are going along with this narrative and not questioning things and being analytic. And, and we were talking before, you said the vaccinated teachers who are coming into the school, they're not even getting tested. They're not even getting tested and um, as we know, I mean, I, on my way down here I was listening to 610 and um, there was a report of 15 people with COVID in Niagara and 7 of those 15 people who had COVID, they were vaccinated and 8 were um, not vaccinated. So. It's, it's a lot of mixed no. messages that, that is being spread. And you weren't even given the option to do testing, is that correct? I was given the option and I, and, and, you know, I, I complied with the testing, but um, for me, I'm supporting anyone who, who is against being forced, but being coerced. Even if you do test it, you still need to get vaccinated, right? So that's what the board is, that's what TDSB is saying. Now they've amped it up. They've amped the testing up to three 
um, rapid antigen test for the week. Initially it was four. As of November the 10th, they amped it up to three rapid antigen testing. Yeah. And I don't have an issue. It, it, I don't have an issue testing. Uh, but uh, at the same time, I stand with everybody here who who have been as teachers. We have been taking all the precautions. Um, we still, as I said before, we still have large class sizes um, sizes in our school, and it's almost impossible sometimes to physically distance. And you said by the twenty second, if you don't get the vaccine, you you will get. We'll be placed on dismissal without pay. Even after complying with everything. That Even after complying, and then the union, they seem um, as if they're not support of the few of us who've decided to take this stand. We've been knocking on doors um, in regards to our union and no one is opening. They, they, either they are afraid or they are biased.